welcome to this training series from the Pulse Secure channel team. In this session, we'll cover how to upgrade the Traffic Manager software. So let's start by downloading the upgrade image. So firstly, we're going to be downloading the Traffic Manager software from the support website. So we need to go to my.pulsecure.net. So key that in we'll end up at the, uh, the support website, log in with your credentials, which you'll hopefully already have. And then uh, we should see once we go in there that we have some options for download. Um, so the first thing to do is click on the download center tile and we'll be given some options once we actually sign in. Uh, there you go. So we need to select downloads from the menu and then Pulse Secure and we'll select the link for the VADC products. So that takes us through to those. You'll see here all of our products. Uh, today we need the Traffic Manager. So if we click on the Traffic Manager link, that will then show us a list of available downloads. Today we'll uh, use the latest 18.1 download for me. So we'll click on that. Agree to the export compliance terms and conditions. And then we should see a list of available software. Now, this will um, this basically shows everything here. So we've got the uh, the images for a straightforward install, and also the upgrade images you'll see there. Um, so basically, just be very careful which one you actually choose. Um, make sure if you need an upgrade image, you select a, a file with the the words upgrade in the description. Um, otherwise, you know, if you just need a straightforward install, then select one of the top uh, uh, installations there that you'll see for the various hypervisors, etc. Today, we need the VMware uh, UI installation option for upgrade. So this is the one we'll be uh, installing today. I, I use a workstation environment, so uh, this is the one I actually need. Obviously, you guys will download whichever one you need from the list that's shown here. Um, so all I do is click on this link and uh, the download will start. Now I've actually already downloaded this um, so I won't worry about doing this today but obviously uh, you guys will, will click on the link for the download you need. Um, this one is pretty large as are most of these um, images so it could take a while for uh, the download to actually complete so just be aware of that. Uh, this one's actually 592 meg, so depending on your your speed, etc., uh, will uh, it'll take a number of minutes to download. I'll just cancel that today, and um, I'll be back with you in the second session. We'll, we'll we'll be actually uploading the TGZ file into the traffic manager. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much. Let's move on now to upgrading the software version. You can see here we have a traffic manager uh, currently running in development mode, which isn't really important, um, but it's running on version 17.4. You can tell that by looking at the top of the screen here. Um, also, you can go into system and you can see 17.4 here with a patch, patch level uh, code as well. So at the moment we're running on 17.4. Uh, I'm going to show you how we upgrade to 18.1, uh, which at the time of this recording was the latest version. So we click on upgrade, we simply choose a file and you should have already downloaded the file you need. Uh, for me, this time I'm, I've downloaded 18.1, it's the appliance upgrade version, so I upgrade from the GUI and uh, it's for uh, the VMware um, image that I'm currently running in Workstation. So I select the TGZ, I open that and then I upload. Now there will be a small delay. As you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen there, it's currently uploading the file. Um, I will actually uh, wait for that to complete. And once it's uploaded, you should see the screen change and show some information about the file. Um, now, if you don't see any information, you may see an error message. That just means the file may be corrupt or it's, a, uh, it's not a true upgrade image. Um, hopefully, there we go. We will see that ours is. Um, you can see that you've got some information there about the file. It's 18.1. Uh, 
uh, it gives you some further information and a checksum. You can also at this stage uh, view the uh, release notes for 18.1 so you can expand there. Uh, you can actually drag this so you can drag this screen to make it larger and you can really read the release notes if uh, if you need to do so. Also because the firewall software is included uh, in this in this release as well you can also release uh, you can read those release notes for the firewall too. So once you're happy that you've got the right file, everything looks good, uh, you can simply click upgrade. Now I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back once we uh, once we have the file uploaded. Um, you'll see some information, uh, time elapsed, some information about uh, what the um, process is actually carrying out to upgrade the software. Um, what it's really doing is it's loading in 18.1 into a, a secondary partition uh, on the Linux platform and then it's going to switch the partition and reboot the machine. Um, so basically uh, follow any instructions you may see on this screen. I'm going to pause for now and I'll come back once there's something else to uh, to let you know about. You can see now it's installing the Pulse Secure software on the new partition. Now it's configuring some extra programs that are required on the target partition. So we're up to currently around about four minutes of uh, elapsed time. I'll just pause again and come back to you when there's some more movement on the upgrade process. Okay, so we're back. Uh, the elapsed time's just over five minutes, uh, five minutes and 11 seconds actually. And now the screen looks like this. So the upgrade installation was successful. A reboot is required to complete the upgrade. Um, obviously just follow the instructions. You can click the button here that should reboot the traffic manager. Um, this will mean that this web page will become unresponsive, I imagine, but we'll uh, we'll just see how this goes. There you go. So the web page is now unresponsive. Um, now you may well be waiting a couple of seconds for uh, for this to actually uh, allow you to come back in on the 9090 port um, into the web UI, but I'm going to try this almost straight away. We'll see where we go. Uh, like I say, it can take a, a few seconds to um, to wait for the actual device to come back up and for the web interface to be enabled on the traffic manager, but it will eventually come back. So I'm just going to pause again here um, while I wait for that to happen. And there we go. Um, I had to wait about 30 seconds for that, 35 seconds. Um, I actually pressed F5 and uh, the next time I tried it, I got this screen, which is basically um, getting ready for me to, to log into the machine again. So there we go. I can key in the credentials again. And we're back in. And as you can clearly see, we're now running 18.1. Um, and also just if you go into the systems tab, you can see um, 18.1 with a new patch level and everything looks good. So um, that concludes the, the second section. Thanks very much. Let's move on to the final section now, how to roll back the software version. So if for any reason you find that you need to roll back the software version, um, that's fairly straightforward to do. Uh, you can see we're currently running on 18.1 um, as of the previous section where we upgraded from 17.4 to 18.1. Um, now, uh, we've realized we need to roll back, so what do we do? Uh, you simply go to the Systems tab, and here you've got an option to roll back. So you see the previous version here, 17.4. Simply uh, confirm that that's the version we need and click the Roll Back button. Now that will be um, switching to 17.4 17 and basically we now wait for the traffic manager to reboot. So I will pause and uh, come back when there's something else to show. And there we go. Um, the screen simply returned to me um, of its own accord and you can see here development version 17.4, the version 17.4. I basically key in credentials now to log back into the device and we're into the traffic manager with it all rebooted. Um, basically what it's done is it's rebooted using the other partitions. So simply swapped over the partitions and issued a reload command. Um, so that's it really. That's how we both upgrade and roll back the traffic manager software. Thanks very much for listening today.